Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com and uh, we're going to continue the WordPress series today. I made a comment a couple days ago that said I would not continue the series until I had finished the forum on AwfulMedia.com. Well, the forum is not completed, but I'm going to go ahead and continue the series anyway because it will still be a couple more days until the forum is finished and I just really wanted to... Uh, not get too far behind on the series we've been working on for a while. So today what I wanted to do is I know we have some styling that we have to do that we didn't quite uh, get finished with in the last part but in this part really quickly well, may not be too quickly but I wanted to set up our custom post type. This is a little bit more of an advanced uh, thing we're going to be doing than just styling and stuff so I wanted to kind of get it out of the way explain some of the functionality and then if we have time which I think we will set up some custom fields uh, in that custom post type to do that now this is a that's a pretty advanced topic we're going to actually use a plugin called advanced custom fields I believe and it's an awesome plugin I used it on awfulmedia.com and I absolutely loved it so we're going to use that and it just make our lives a whole lot easier. Custom fields, what do I mean by that? If we go to localhost, check out our website here. Let's go to the administrator panel. And gotta sign in. If we look over here, we have posts, media, links. All a custom post type is, is instead of just having posts, we can have one over here that says games. So we can have our games separated from our posts in the menu and just make querying a little bit easier and make styling make the templating a little bit easier for the custom post types but inside of the custom post types so we say we have games here inside of games we can edit these fields inside of here don't worry if you don't see this down here I was just fooling around with that in the screen options on the posts here we have these options we can turn things on and off and they'll just hide or show uh, different things but I'm just going to uncheck that to get rid of that so what a custom uh, field would do is say we wanted to add mm, the publisher's name so we could set up a custom field that said publisher's name and it'd be a, just an input box just a text box that we would put the publisher's name in then we could take that information inside of our uh, inside of our, our, our website and then we could query say we want to see only the games by this publisher well now we have that information in the database obviously that's just one of the things we could do so we're going to work with that in this video I do believe the first thing we have to do is set up our custom post type and that's just the games tab over here how would we do that? Inside of our functions.php, we're going to add in a little bit of code. So we're going to create a function. Let's enter down here. And the function is going to be create post type. I don't know, quite crazy, isn't it? We want to open up our curly braces. Inside of this, we're going to register a post type. Now, inside of this register post type function, we're going to have to define a few things. The first thing is going to be the, uh, the the word or the name that the system uses for our custom post type, the slug of our custom post type. In this case, I'm going to use Awful Media Games. Make sure this is in the appropriate uh, marks there. Then we'll add a comma. So that's the slug for that. We're going to say comma. Now we have to define a few more things. These things will be defined within an array. We have used an, an array and an, an array. We have used an array a few times now, so I'm not going to explain exactly how it works. What I want to do is add some uh, formatting here so it doesn't look too bad. Just like that. Inside of this array, let's define labels. Okay? What are the labels? for our custom post type. The labels would be the name. So like on the tab, it will say games. And inside of that, it will say games. So we're going to say 
labels are, but now there's going to be a couple things we have to define. So what we can do is define these within another array. So we're going to say another array here. And inside of this one, we're going to have, let's go ahead and enter down here. I'll fix the formatting in a bit. I know it might be a little confusing. So inside of this array, we're going to define the labels. First label will be name. So this label is going to be uh, games. Now what we're going to do is this string of text, we're going to add these two underscores, just one, two. And what does that do? Well, the two underscores will do is allow WordPress to realize that's a word it should translate. So if we're doing like a localization and we're trying to translate our words, our, our text into the language of the person viewing or whatever it may be, then this will allow WordPress to take the name of or the text string that we ran through that, go through and find the localized translation. Just uh, something to put there to allow for a better user experience. Now another one to do is go ahead and just copy this and paste it. This one will say singular name. And this one will just be the same thing, just the singular version, not the plural version. Okay, so that array is done. It's all we want to define for the labels. But still inside of this array, we're still inside of that array. Don't go outside of that array. See, this array closes right here. So what we could do is actually just uh, knock that down. Let me so make this a little bit more <laughs> legible there. Does that make more sense? So this label, or sorry, this array closes here. If we see, that array closes there, that array closes there. So this, this array is inside this array, but all this array is doing is defining the labels. Okay? So while still inside of the first array, we're going to define public. And we're going to say, yeah, post type is public, sure, true. And we're not ending that there, actually. We're going to go ahead and go down and add another one, which is what I didn't do here. That's a comma, not ending the string. We're actually putting a comma, so we're saying there's another one below this we have to define. I mean, actually get rid of this closing if we wanted to. So under, under public, we're going to say menu position. Now, what is menu position? Now, there is a list of values that I just don't know in my head that I should have written down somewhere. But all it is is there's a few different values you can use that will help to uh, that will determine where the post type will fall on this list. We want it to be right under posts. So what we will do is we'll say five. Now I cannot tell you for sure why five is the one right below that, but I know like say five does this a hundred will be like below this divider or something like that. So you have to just look that up, but I'm sorry, I can't give you the exact information, but they're just some random numbers. I'm sure there's some logic behind it. I just don't know it. Below this, we're going to have rewrite and what rewrite does is it allows us to kind of mask our slug in something that looks a little more appealing. So we're going to say array. Inside of this array, I want to make my slug into games. So it'll just be uh, games as a slug instead of awful media games. But awful media games is still the base slug. Like if we were in the system and we were looking for a post type, say the the plugin we're going to be using will recognize this post type as awful media games. The reason I made it awful media games is to get rid of any possible conflict of any plugins you may be using. Obviously yours don't make it awful media games, make it whatever your website is underscore games. But that's just to allow for some uh, other plugins to use the slug games. I don't see you never know what plugins you may be using in the future. So you have to kind of proof yourself from any conflict. So all we have to do now is initialize. And how we initialize, it was we say add action. This action will be init, which is initialize. And we're going to initialize create post type. Okay, so we're initializing create post type. Control S. Now there may be some errors in that. Let's go here and refresh and see. Got an error. 
Got an error. Line 24. Line 24. What is my error here? What am I missing? Ah. Comma bed. We need to say there's some more after this. There we go. So add that comma there. And now you'll see we have games. You may think that's kind of difficult to do just to get the, the extra post type. But it's much more than just a tab. And we'll see that later on. But inside of games, now we'll, now we'll have a list of all the games that we have in the database. And we can go to add new games. And we can add in something that will fall under the games category. That's all fine and dandy, but this is pretty basic. There's nothing in here that will really uh, tell you that it's a game. If we go to screen options, there's nothing up here that we can add. Because this is a custom post type that we just made, there's nothing more than we told it to have.